Okay, so you've got the uh, new vision. So you are uh, definitely, um, you know, this is the hangman, and this is uh, seeing things from a different perspective, coming up with a new plan, you know, getting some spiritual enlightenment. Uh, things are a bit of, you know, at a standstill right now. So the energy seems, feels like it's stuck. But this is ge generally the way the universe gets us to review things and come up with new plans and new ideas. It forces us to do that because it doesn't move anything else. So um, it allows us to take stock and this is what you are doing at this moment. You're taking stock of things. And in the meantime, you're just getting on with, you know, daily, everyday uh, life, focusing on your work. You've got the ordinariness card over here. So just getting on with the, the mundane things in life and just trying to find yourself and coming up with a new vision. You've got the creator over here. So you might be, uh, you know, spending a lot of time praying, getting back your energy, trying to refocus yourself. So that's what you're doing. You're trying to get that energy back. Um, you can see um, the solar plexus chakra being activated over here. So you're trying to draw in your power, maybe from the universe in itself, and you're trying to find that new perspective. And this is where this enlightenment is coming. You can see this is an archer trying to get, uh, you know, um, uh, trying to focus all over again so you're trying to activate your chakras you're trying to refocus your energies again and trying to get a new vision a new way of doing things now in the past you got the turning in card so after you went through all your the problems you uh isolated yourself you uh, separated yourself from everybody else and this is the uh, four of cups and maybe you know you um you had to do some deep thinking about what had what you want out of life and you were going through a period of healing. Uh, so this is the King of Cups. This You may have been getting some counseling as well, uh, but you've definitely gone through a phase of healing and spending a lot of time by yourself. So going into the future, you might be thinking of actually doing some traveling. So some news coming in for you. This is the Eight of Rods, but also some travel coming in. So you you know, you you know it looks like you're getting a new vision, a new idea, and it looks like you want to travel uh, and maybe uh, shift your energies a little bit as well. You might be thinking about taking a holiday. So you've got the postponement card over here. This is also a card about healing, having a new perspective. This is the Four of Swords, uh, seeing things in a different light. You can see it's all gray over here, but you're now having a better vision for the future. So it looks like once you travel, you'll start seeing things in a very different way. Uh, you you know, this new vision that is coming in for you and this postponement card, uh, you know, trying to uh, see, you know, different colors are emerging here. So you have a new vision for the future. So the travel is a very good thing for you to do. You are planning on doing it and it's, some, it's something that you need to do in order for you to reach your full healing and have a new idea and a new uh, vision uh, for the future. So those are the energies that are coming in for you uh, in those two weeks. It's all about healing and getting over, uh, you know, the grief and the problems and the drama that you went through. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Art Nouveau Tarot. And um, I have shuffled to this deck. So you've got this uh, seven of um, rods over here. So you are standing up for yourself and standing up for your belief system right now. You are being victorious in that. So you are getting your way. You are saying your thing. You are saying, speaking your truth and you are defending yourself and you are being victorious in that. So nobody's ha getting the better of you right now with the seven of rods. So whatever situation you are going through at the moment, you are defending yourself against anybody that's coming against you. And, you know, you're doing that and you're winning in that situation. So any problems that you're facing, you're managing to overcome them. You have the ten of um, um pentacles over here and the knight of coins over here so it looks like that relationship that you had that you were financially involved with somebody has now come to an, an end and you are now focusing on your career with this knight of coins so you're working very very hard on your career right now and you have that relationship has now ended uh, it was probably a marriage and it looks like you know whatever financial dependence you had or commitment you had to each other has come to an end and you are now becoming financially independent and working very hard on your job you're focusing on your career so you've started something brand new in the last year so it's a new phase that you're going through and you're doing it by yourself and you are you know 
You're taking that leap of faith, you're taking those risks, and you're going for it. And you're doing it by yourself. You've got the queen of coins, so, uh, you know, you are making, um, you know, a lot of financial decisions by yourself. You're organizing your finances, and you are, you know, you're not relying on anybody to do anything for you. You are coming out on top. So you are, you know, you're managing to sort out your financial problems that you had, uh, and you're getting on top of your finances as well. So you do need that little bit of a break. The energy card said that you do need a little bit of a break, a, a little bit of healing. That four of uh, swords came up uh, in the future. So you do need to do that. You do need to take some time out uh, from people and go and have yourself a little bit of a holiday, a little bit of a break, and get a new perspective on things, uh, get a new idea, and get a new power back in your hands again. And you can do that by taking a break from everybody else. So it seems like, you know, this, uh, the, the person that you were involved in, they might be still trying to get you back into that relationship, but you are ignoring them and you are focusing on yourself and your career. You can see this woman's back is turned and she's focusing on that coin so she's ignoring that relationship so maybe that a person wants to reconcile with you but you are not interested anymore you are going to be focused on yourself and your career and getting ahead in life so you're not interested anymore now you've got the lover's card over here so you could well be involved uh you know in a in a, um, a sexual relationship with somebody at the moment uh you know something that um you know, it, it seems to be uh, purely based on a uh, physical relationship rather than love. But this could also be that you're trying to make a decision about what to do next. Now, in this particular uh, spread, it seems like if you are still involved with that person, uh, it, you know, you're uh, looking in different directions. So you'll have chosen different pathways. Uh, maybe that relationship that you were in ended up just being a physical relationship and that's why it broke down and maybe this is uh, because both of you have had different goals or different visions and uh, you know that's why you had to uh, part company now it seems like you know you have some kind of decision that you have to make uh, in order to move forward so you, you're deciding how you want to proceed uh, maybe you want to cut this person out completely from your life and not have any contact with them and maybe that's the decision you have to make now you've got this four of rods over here so uh, it looks like you know whatever you're going to do you you might be thinking about about buying a new home with this uh, four of rods it's about uh, you know uh, it's about travel but it's also buying uh, uh, it could be about buying a new home and getting that uh, home stability as well and uh, it looks like you want to do this by yourself. So you, you can see this woman's back is turned to this man as well. So it looks like you are planning on uh, setting up home by yourself and, uh, you know, getting your own in independence and getting your own stability. And, uh, you, you know, you're doing it by yourself. You can see she's holding on to that rod. So you are getting your power back. You're taking your power back and maybe you're, you're planning on buying a new home. So what you want is a new relationship to come in. You want a brand new cycle to come in. You want, uh, you know, brand new emotional um experience to come in your way and uh, you want to start off uh, afresh so going into the future you've got the knight of swords uh the seven of pentacles and the queen of cups so the knight of swords uh there might be some le legal matters that you're dealing with at the moment and news comes in about that so this is official news coming in very quickly but it also shows that you're going to be victorious in this so you are going to be the one that uh you know, is going to be victorious in this particular situation and you're taking that control back. So legal news coming in and this is going to be in your favor, whatever has come in. You've got that seven of pentacles of here, so you're going to be investing all your time and effort in your work. It seems like, you know, whatever you did with this particular person did not pay off and you're not very happy about it. Maybe you're still crying about whatever investment you made in the relationship didn't work uh, and you're going to be working on investing in yourself in the future now. And, you know, with the Queen of Cups, it's still a bit upset and a bit sad and still crying about that past. So you're still getting over that relationship. You haven't quite come to terms with it. Uh, maybe this legal matters that you're dealing with makes you feel very depressed because you realize whatever you invested that in that relationship was not worth your, your time. It was a waste of time. And this has upset you. But you will be victorious. You will emerge from it victoriously. And you will now start investing in your own. You can see this woman's working on that pentacle by herself now. Uh, you know, although this man is there, she's not really taking any advice from him. She's working on her own uh, issues right now. So it seems like you're going to be investing in yourself. And that is going to make you happier in the future. 
So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Archangel Power Tarot. So it looks like you are coming through a difficult relationship and you're getting your strength and your power back and you're getting your financial independence back as well. You've got the Six of Raphael, which says embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. So it looks like you are going to be focusing, if you have children, you're focusing on your, um, your children or your family at this particular moment and that is allowing you to heal from this particular situation. This could also be, you know, you might be, uh, you know, revisiting old friends or family and getting support from them in order to, to get over the situation. You've got the page of Michael, which is about legal news coming in. So it says an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So whatever legal matters you're dealing with at this particular moment, make sure you're reading all the fine print. Uh, and it looks like some legal news coming in for you quite quickly as well. And then you've got the King of Gabriel. And keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. Now, this is your card. This is the King of uh, Gabriel, which is uh, the King of Rods, which is a card that belongs to Aries. And it is showing that you have gotten all your power back so that you are inspirational, generous, and driven and dramatic as well. So it looks like, you know, you're getting your power back again and you're getting back in charge of your life. You're taking control again. So you are going to come out victorious. It looks like since this card follows the page of Michael, whatever news comes in, whatever legal matters, you're going to be a, a out and out winner. So you're going to win in that situation and you're going to come out, uh, you know, um, being very victorious you're taking back your power again you're getting your financial success and your financial independence and it looks you know with this knight of coins this job is going to be paying off pretty well as well for you so you need to make uh you know you you all have separated because maybe you all had different ideas about life and you know maybe that relationship was not working in it try not to get uh you know try not to spend too much of time uh thinking and worrying about the past that investment was not worth it you, your while uh, it didn't pay off in the end and try not to be depressed about it uh, you know you do need to heal and maybe you do need to take that holiday and get a little bit of a rest um, and get you know get rid of all that stress and deal with that heartbreak and that's going to give you some new ideas and maybe you'll even make some new friends uh, that will take you out of the feeling of feeling depressed so I hope that this uh, reading has resonated with you. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.